Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the Red Bull edition of the new GAN 356X. So here it is, this is GAN's latest flagship, not the full version, but this is the Red Bull edition. As you can see we have the Red Bull Rubik's Cube World Finals logo on here, and this was the cube that was given away at the cup in Boston this year. I didn't personally attend the event, but Damien, the cubologist, was there, and at a recent competition he was nice enough to give me this cube so I can make this video about it. So one of the very first things I noticed about this cube was just how quiet the turning was. Let's go ahead and take a listen. The turning was also very soft and smooth, a little bit scratchy, but I've broken it in slightly since I've gotten it, and it's smoothed out greatly. So other than a little break in, the cube is basically stock from the way it came. Uh, it came in black and stickered with the logo, it came with these magnets in it, and I believe it only has some factory lube in it, but there's nothing else added to this. So that makes the puzzle very quick. And when I first got this cube, it was very fast for me, a bit floppy and flexy because I was overshooting a bit. However, one good thing about this cube is that as I've been playing with it, it's gotten a tiny bit slower just because cubes tend to slightly slow down over time as little bits of dust might collect in the pieces and slow the cube down a little bit. But as you can see, the internals are still very clean. I haven't actually lubed this differently because I actually really like the feeling that it has right now and I wanted to keep it this way because this is the uh, limited edition Red Bull version of this cube. And it does come in stickered with a different sticker scheme than the GAN Air SM. That came with a light blue, this comes with deep blue, uh, this came with fluoro orange, this came with fluoro bright orange. They both came with the same fluoro green, this came with red instead of fluoro red, and the same yellow and the same white. So basically they went over from their old half brights Back to a color scheme that they've actually used on some previous GAN 356 puzzles before. However, I do really like the shades on this puzzle, and the stickers have been holding up pretty well. I've had a few chips here, and on the red center here, but other than that, the stickers are flawless, and they're really holding up well. Then obviously, one of the biggest features of this cube is that it does have interchangeable magnets. So these are actually rods, and you can poke them out. If I push the magnet through, you can see it pops out on the other end, and I can pull it through. Right now I have in the clear magnets, these are what came in the cube, and these are the strongest magnets I believe. Now that they've been taken out of the piece, the piece is completely see-through, and you can insert any other magnet rod that you would like. I do think that swapping out these magnet rods is very efficient. As you can see, it's so easy to put in and it snaps exactly into the right spot, completely flush with the edges of the piece so there's no bumping whatsoever. Taking a quick look at the piece, we can see that the feet are very similar to the 354. The honeycomb pattern has been carried over to the Scan X, so it covers the whole corner piece rather than just the inner part here, it also covers the feet. Just for comparison, this is the 354, and it does have white feet with the honeycomb pattern on it as well. As far as the turning goes, I think it's my favorite of any GAN cube so far. The magnets are really a perfect strength for this cube, not too weak, not too strong. And the turning is just so smooth and effortless, it's really really fun to turn. The turning of the 356X is more reminiscent of the 354 than the SM, however it's not just a bigger version of the 354, it is actually a different puzzle and it feels quite different. I do prefer this over the 354, the size is something I'm more accustomed to, and the corners don't feel like they're bigger than the edges like they did on the 354, which is something that made it feel really weird in the hands. This cube also has yellow GES nuts installed in it, but it has the older version where you can only adjust how tight it is manually. There will be a version in the future where you will be able to adjust uh, the tensions evenly on every side. There will be select settings of tensions that you can set the cube to, and then you'll be able to like tick the gear to a certain tension so that everything will be even, but those nuts are not in this cube yet, so I might be able to test those out in a future version. It does come with a hefty price tag of 62 bucks, but when you get the full version you will get the cube itself, all the extra magnets, all the extra springs, and whatever other fancy things come in the boxes nowadays. If you like the 354M, however, this would totally be a great buy for you because it's slightly reminiscent, but it's a bit bigger, smoother, and just overall I'd say better in every possible way, unless you really like the size of the 354. But that wraps it up for my showcase on the GAN 356X. 
Once again, I'd love to give a huge shout out to the Cubologist for letting me have this cube so I can make this video about it. There will be a link to his YouTube channel down in the description below. So that's about all I have for this video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.